Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Very big day for Indiana State Athletics today. They officially introduced Nathan Christensen as the brand new director of athletics. Our Jack Bernie has the latest with Christensen and new ISU president, Dr. Goddard from the Holman Center. Thursday marked the start of a new era for Indiana State University and Sycamore Athletics as Indiana State President Mike Goddard officially introduced Nathan Christensen as the university's new director of athletics. I know that the community is looking is looking for a winner that was proven last uh, winter and spring through the basketball run, um, and I'm just I'm excited and blessed to be have this opportunity to be a part of Indiana State throughout the entire process. I could see there's a lot of great people here and they're just hungry for a winner. Christensen takes over the Sycamore's athletics department after spending the last three years with South Dakota State University. ISU President Mike Goddard says his experience with the Jackrabbits and his familiarity with the Missouri Valley Conference played a big role in bringing him to ISU. I was really looking for someone who understood who we were at Indiana State University in terms of being a upper level mid-major institution, understood the Midwest, and I think Nathan checked a lot of those boxes. And then I will say certainly his external focus in terms of fundraising and revenue generation is going to be incredibly important for athletics as we move forward, making sure that we're on the same page and that um, and that individuals understand that this relationship that we have working together is a genuine one, just like what we want to build in terms of our relationships throughout the community. One of the main challenges facing Christensen is the ever-changing landscape of college athletics, but he remains confident in his ability to navigate that change and keep ISU as one of the premier athletic institutions in the MVC. As long as we're the best version of Indiana State, we'll be in a position to be a part of those conversations. I think Indi I think Missouri Valley is a perfect fit for us with our like institutions. I think there, there will be a shakeup with those top 40 or 50 schools, and they can go do their own thing, but we're going to be in a really good position. I feel really confident about what we, what we're, with the people that are here, the coaches that are here, the staff that are here, to really get this baby moving in the right direction, and there has been great success. Christensen has already hit the ground running. And one of his first tasks will be finding the next head coach for Indiana State Baseball after the departure of Mitch Hannis. Something he says he's already begun. We're working through that. Um, so hopefully in the near future we can make an announcement. And, uh, but that's an important one. Baseball is really important to this institution. Obviously Mitch, I, I've had opportunities to talk to him. Um, and get his feedback on a few folks and he's he's an unbelievable person I wish him the best down in South Florida and obviously a great opportunity uh, for him but uh, I feel really comfortable with, about the direction we're going to be going and uh, the people that we're visiting with from the Holman Center with the Sycamores I'm Jack Bernie WTWO Sports